Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft update video. Today's snapshot is 13W38A and behold the glorious sight in front of us. Do you know what this is? These are maps in item frames. They will now take up the whole space of a block and that is a feature we have wanted for a long long time as a community and it is finally here and it looks absolutely brilliant. Now this is a normal scale map. There are nine of them put together so I was kind of curious to see what a larger scale map would look like not quite as detailed as you would expect but this is going to be so much fun you're now going to be able to map out the area that your base is in and then put this up inside your base somewhere it's a really great feature but one thing that comes to mind to me is for map makers you'll be able to manipulate the maps and create custom textures as well which can cover the full side of a block now you can't put item frames on the top or the bottom of a block so it is a little bit limited but there's some interesting features that are now going to come out of this so these next features are to do with performance and optimization of the game. If we go into the menu and into the video settings, you can see here some things have changed. We now have a render distance where we can select the amount of chunks, whereas previously you had a predefined amount that was described as tiny, small, normal and large. And you can see here you can select between 2 and 16. So below that we have a max frame rate as well. That goes from 10 FPS to 250 and it can even go beyond that as well. As you can see there it said unlimited. If we scroll down to the bottom we have an anastropic filter. Now what this does is improves the quality of textures and graphics when you're looking at them in an obscure angle. This can be set from 16 to 8 to 4 to 2 and it can be turned off as well. And over here we have a MIP map. Now I don't know what this does but it lags the hell out of my game whenever I change these settings here. And you can also enable post processing which is another graphical improvement feature. So this next feature that has been added to the game could be a real fan favourite. It is built-in support for shaders. Now at the moment there are a few effects that are a bit quirky, but you can see on the F3 screen here we have a shader. We have Minecraft shader slash post slash anti alas. Now if I go into the options menu and click on the super secret settings, you may hear a sound, but you may also notice in the background that things have changed. So we're quickly going to go through these. You can see this one almost hurts your eyes to look at, but it is quite funny. This one is called Art, as you can see with the F3 screen. And let's go back in and change this to something else. This is Blobs 2. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> and then you can see here we've got some interesting ones. This one's called Pencil. Not sure if I really like that, but it is definitely interesting. And as we scroll through these, you'll see there's all kinds of different effects. Now this one makes the colours really warm. I quite like this one. It's almost like a texture pack. And let's change it again. Let's get through these as quick as possible. This one is almost like a 3D effect. I'm not exactly sure what deconverge means, but you can see it is an interesting effect. Let's go to the next one. This is the one that Dinnerbone tweeted about. You can now play the game upside down. And I actually tried to navigate and make my way around. Now we can fly as well. And You'd think, you know, the game being upside down, you'd still be able to play to some degree, but it is absolutely mind-bending trying to play like this. So I think that's a really cool, fun little feature right there. Now if we go to the next one, everything is inverted, and there is a creepy noise from pressing the button. <laughs> but this is really strange as well. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. Now this one, I kind of like. It reminds me of an old TV. And it's got that old TV kind of look like a... CCTV monitoring station. Now let's go to the next one. This one is called Outline, so everything has a slight outline around it, which doesn't really look that great and it kind of lags the computer a lot. Now if you look into the distance you can see the outline more than you can see when objects are closer to you. So let's have a look at the next one. Now, ah, oh, this one <laughs> is crazy. There is like a blur effect. So when I stand still and I move around a little bit. If I move around a lot you can see some real crazy blurs going on. <laughs> that is crazy. Let's go to the next one. This is another one I really like. This is like the previous one with the CCTV but there's kind of less blur going on and I'm actually quite a fan of this. It's got scan lines going across it as well which look pretty cool. So the next one. So Bell. <laughs> this is a really strange one. I think I missed this one when I was looking before. Everything has a kind of crazy coloured outline around it. <laughs> okay, and the next one. This is like an 8-bit game. So basically you have 8-bit colour and the size of the pixels would suggest it's an 8-bit game. This is what Minecraft would possibly look like if it was around in the days of MS-DOS. I mean, this is just crazy. 
Let's go to the next one. Like a grayscale, it's called desaturation, which means the color has kind of been taken away a little bit. Which is pretty cool. Let's go to the next one. This one is all green. This reminds me of the Amstrad, where you used to have green screens for your computer and you only had a small amount of colors, like <laughs> bright green and dark green. That's a pretty interesting effect right there. Let's go to the next one. There's not many more to get through. This is just a straight up blur. I'm not really a fan of that. And then last of all, we have the wobble. Absolutely crazy one right here. <laughs> this is really trippy. Wow. <laughs> So I'm on a server right now and James has taken advantage of the maps. You can see he's got some set up over here and also he's managed to put my skin texture into one as well. So they are all maps on the wall right there. Now there's supposed to be a new achievement which you can get on a server by throwing diamonds at another player which doesn't seem to be happening at the moment so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But when you get an achievement it will now be posted into the chat. So let's make a crafting bench. That's one of the achievements you get. And that's not working either, which makes me wonder if this snapshot is buggy. But another thing right there is the tab screen. And um, you can see that's been changed. And if we have a look at the chat, when I join the server, I got this one right here, taking inventory. And this will actually do, be displayed to all of the players. So this is something you can now turn off, but that's a new feature for servers. So there have been some bug fixes this snapshot as well. The first one is something that I actually posted to Reddit a while ago. If you create a flat world and then delete it and create another world with the same name, sometimes this can happen, what you're seeing right here. But there's been a few other fixes as well, one to do with horses. If we go into the horse's inventory and equip it with some armor, you're going to hear that noise. Now previously if you were to swap over to another piece of armor, you wouldn't hear the noise. So a very minor bug fix right there. Now another one is the Enderman stair noise. If you were to go into the sounds and set the enemy monsters all the way down to zero, you'd still be able to hear the Enderman stair noise. So that's been fixed. There's also a minor bug with villagers not generating properly. Another behind the scenes fix right there. And last of all, there's two things that I missed from the previous snapshot. If I press F2, you can see there is a line underneath the text right there, that's because that is now a clickable link, so I'll open it with the software on my computer for viewing images. And one other thing as well, if you throw items onto the ground like this, there's now extra MPT data that you can attach to this that means only players can pick it up. So you can make items that can be thrown onto the ground that only players can pick up and not mobs. So there have been some issues with this snapshot to do with general crashing of the game and also some block breaking animations causing problems as well. So there is going to be a second update fixing those problems tomorrow. I'm not going to be doing a snapshot video on that because I have a myth busting video for you. So that is it for me and this update video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.